Being low carb for the past 10 years has not been a walk in the park. Here are five things that we realized over that decade uh, that we put into effect today. Hey there, NJRoot22.com here with a little low carb, carnivore, maybe keto uh, recap over the past 10 years of our lives. We've read hundreds of books, done all sorts of uh, experimentation, and um, we've, we've gotten to a point here in 2019 where we sort of uh, have a better understanding of the low carb, uh, diabetic or pre-diabetic or, or carnivore uh, lifestyle. It's kind of hard to explain because you know there's no one book out there. If there was one book that told you the right way to do it, it would be one page long. And it would say uh, like four steps, like one, don't raise your blood sugar. Number two, um, don't eat uh, high carb foods. Number three, uh, the foods uh, that you used to uh, eat are no good and so on. It, it would be that simple, but obviously people want to learn about the mechanics behind it and the science behind it. But they're really, um, and a lot of those sciences are wrong. But so here are the top five low carb uh, carnivore realizations we've had in, in the 10 years we've been tinkering around with it. And the number one and most important thing is never raise your blood sugar levels. That is the, the, uh, the single most important thing you can do. And, you know, it doesn't really matter what. Just find out what raises your blood sugar and then just don't do it. It's that simple. Because uh, raising your blood sugar obviously prevents you from losing stored body fat. Read the books, you're gonna find out that's true. And, and when you feel it and uh, experiment with it, you'll know that is, uh, that is the case. And that leads me to number two, and that's about all these glow, low glycemic index foods like fruits and vegetables you know avoid uh, pineapples and bananas you can have blueberries and strawberries while that's true uh, they are low low glycemic index foods compared to others you know potatoes for instance are really starchy high carb foods none of the fruits and vegetables um, are worth it at this point we experimented we ate a ton of blueberries and tried to eat salads and stuff and we we got stuck in the mud and when we took the fruits and vegetables out of the equation, we made stunning progress uh, to the next plateau where we're at now. And I'll explain that at the end. Um, it's, uh, you just can't really go into ketosis when you constantly put little amounts of carbs in your body all day long. And number three is these alternative guilty pleasures, as they're called. And you know, you look at all these low carb blogs, websites, uh, social media accounts, and books, they, uh, they're trying to uh, replace our old guilty pleasures, you know, cookies, breads, and so on, um, and other sweets with uh, low carb alternatives. And they never taste as good, and they still have carbs, and they're just truly un unnecessary. Um, I had a little good analogy here. It's like trying to hang on to those old moments you used to, uh, you know, physically or enjoy on your mouth, but physically did not enjoy on your body. It's sort of like trying to replace, uh, to keep your uh, ex-partner around. It never really works out, does it? You know, think about it. Every time you try to keep the ex in your life, it's just still no good. Um, or trying to find a new uh, partner that's sort of like your ex doesn't work either. So if you use that analogy, um, you should just get the sweets and the carby things out of your life. And that's, that's still kind of important. So my next point is about flavoring and, the, and spices and other ingredients that you might add uh, to your foods. Um, I've been slowly phasing them out just by, by necessity. I notice that when I add certain spices, and sometimes I'll throw some onion, or for instance, in a, in a meat dish for flavor, and I, I like to taste the onion and garlic, but they don't make me feel good. They're inflammatory. And if you cook the meat right and nice and rare, and the flavor of the meat plus salt is, is really all you need. And the fact that you're not hungry and you're constantly satiated, you don't need all these interesting or exotic dishes to 
to keep you entertained in your mouth. Just eat your meat and move on and do other things in your life. Food becomes secondary and not a primary part of your life. And lastly, it's about meat. I'm finding that uh, meat like I can't eat chicken anymore. Chicken used to be a good standby, especially the fattier parts of the chicken like the thighs or the legs. And I used to eat them and, and after keeping it out of my life for a while and then having a couple bites here when the rest of the family eats it, I just don't feel all that good. And there's something that these pieces of chicken, even the healthier brands of chicken, I, I don't really like the way chicken affects my body. So we're not doing that. Like the only two meats that really work for us. And we're not into the organ meats yet. Maybe that's a lot of the carnivore people do that. But red meat and, you know, steaks, which I don't do a lot of because of the expense. I eat red ground, ground beef. And pork. Pork is also slowly getting phased out, with the exception of bacon. Pork, uh, the pork cuts, the pork tenderloins, they're, um, they get stuck in my teeth. And, and I, I'm not sure I, uh, I'm a big fan of pork. Uh, they're sort of sticking around for a little while, but I think pork is going to be uh, almost eliminated in the future. So that's it. Those are the five things uh, that we are settling on now. It's, I just wish there, I guess it's hard to, to uh, just get it right away. You sort of gain from the experiences and the failures on, on how to do things and they stick longer and they become powerful in terms of just reading, hey, don't raise your blood sugar. That's really not enough to motivate people. Um, unless you follow the instructions exactly and you can remain committed, I think the only way to remain committed long term is to experience it and, and fortify your beliefs through trial and error. So that's it. Uh, hit the subscribe button, the bell, all that stuff. I have ze like hardly any subscribers and I'm telling a lot of, I'm communicating a lot of good messages here. I just need more. So if you can spread the word, I'm going to try and promote my videos somehow uh, by posting on other things, but I just don't have the time. So have a good day ahead.